Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about why you should be using MindTap for your criminal justice courses. Today, we're going to look at some real-world video cases. I'm going to show you how there's uh, some assessments tied to them. We're going to talk real quickly about how easy it is to integrate MindTap into any LMS system. We're going to look at a real-life course analytics on how what students can see and what the instructors can see. We're going to look at Questia and why that's an important uh, part of MindTap. And then we're going to take a quick overview of the different powerful apps that MindTap has to offer. Well, let's jump right into it and let's take a look at one of the video cases. This is a video case that's already in MindTap for a course called Criminology. Uh, we can play it real quick. Schwarzenegger versus Entertainment Merchants Association. You'll see that there's a, a video and then along with the video there's a little a couple paragraphs of a synopsis of it. And then what's important about these, these assignments is that there's also assessments created with them. We all know that if, if there's not an assessment, if there's not points assigned to it, some students or many students won't even bother with it. So it's important that we make sure that we have some type of an assessment with the assignment. MindTap does that for us, and it automatically goes right into your gradebook and to any LMS system. This is an example of a, of a video case with a great assessment attached to it. Let's also take a look at uh, Questia. Questia, down here, if you click on this, this little icon down here with the, with the eye, that is, a, that is an app inside of, of MindTap. And for today's example, I just typed in crime theories in Questia and came up with 8,899 results. What's nice about Questia is that it breaks it down per category. For example, when I assign a research paper and I want my students to research crime theories, I'm going to tell them I need two, I need two sources from books and I need two sources from academic journals. This way they can go to each one of these and they can find two good quality references from, from different books and then they can find two good quality references from academic journals. And they can scroll down and they can do a tremendous amount of searching. It can help them with citing, APA format, MLA format, whatever your school uses. All of these resources in Questia uh, are excellent. They're all quality. They're all really, really good. And they're, they're not going to be anything based off of um, Wikipedia or stuff like that. So we use these in all of our courses. Let's also take a quick look at analytics. This is a unique feature of MindTap that allows students and you as instructor to see how your class is doing. In this example, there's three students that have low engagement, there's four that have moderate, and then there's four that have high engagement. It also shows you the, the average score in the class, the how, many, how, many time, how many hours and how many logins there are. You can click through each one of these and take a look at different analytics to see how your students are doing and how they're progressing through it, and so can your students as well. So we've looked at Questia, we have looked at, at uh, the analytical part, we've looked at video cases, and then if we take a look at the very right-hand side over here, we can look at all these good apps over here. There's a lot of different things. There's a dictionary, there's a glossary, there's Connect Yard, which is something we'll do in a, f in a future podcast. There's the full ebook, how they're doing for progress. That's the analytical area we talked about. There's the Study Hub, helps students study. There's the Read Speaker, a great feature that the students can just listen to the ebook. And if they're an auditory uh, student and they want to listen to audio instead of reading it, uh, it, it might help them understand the material better. So this is just some, some ways and some, some things on why you should be considering MindTap for your criminal justice courses and why your students will love these. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope we gave you a good, a good quick summary of uh, some of the key features of MindTap. Thank you.